Game one, Arizona, Washington State in the books. Welcome back to Pullman, Washington. It was all Wildcats. They win it 21 to 4. Before we go to those gaudy offensive numbers, let's talk pitching. They got a great starting performance from La uh, Randy LaBelle. Look, we know one thing about Randy, and that is poise, and he's mature. He knows how to pitch. It's not that he throws hard, but he understands location. He also understands the moment, and the moment right now is he goes, look, we got to sweep this series. I'm going to start off with the first game of this and give these guys a big lift, and he did that tonight. And then Kevin Stocker, the offense for Arizona. Austin Wells, everybody knows how great he's been as a catcher, and his offensive numbers are just continuing to explode tonight. Making a push, of course, for that freshman of the year, but I mean, putting every ball in play and putting the ball in play hard. That's one thing that Austin Wells does for you. Now, he even moved to the outfield. We were searching for him and found him because he did not want to come out of this game. I just think Austin Wells is a very special player. Of course, he had a couple of triples. So did Dante Williams. Dante, four for four in this game with two more triples. He was in the zone as well. Okay, seriously, how does Dante hit ninth? Well, it's because of this lineup, right? I mean, here's a stud who can fly, who had hits all over. You saw him pull a hit, he went down the opposite field well, plus he patrols the outfield. I think Dante, again, is, is a reflection of this offense and how powerful they can be when they're all clicking. And he talked about it in his post-game interview. When he hits the ball, he just turns on the Jets and was able to get to third base twice in this game. In all, Arizona bangs out 24 hits Nearly half were for extra bases, and they win game one of this series 21 to 4. Ladies and gentlemen, for Kevin Stocker, I'm Greg Heister. Good night from Pullman, Washington. Game two of this series, live tomorrow from the Palouse.